Good morning. We are starting off on a quiet note this morning. It's looking pretty calm and uh, quiet for the valley at the moment, but we do have some showers and thunder showers that may be working their way in this morning. So enjoy this while you can and make sure you're preparing for a day that might feature some rain falling over where you happen to be. Here's a look at our temperatures right now. We're in the 50s and 60s for most of us. One spot where we are the exception is Bemidji at 49 degrees. Elsewhere, we're looking at 64 degrees in Fargo, nice and mild, and 61 in Grand Forks. 50s up in northwest Minnesota and Valley City and Gwinn are both at 63 degrees. The air is calm in some spots. In Fergus Falls, we have a gust to 17 miles per hour. And wind again today will be on the average out of the southerly direction here today. And we're seeing most of our wind speeds right now coming out of the southeast. A look at our visibility. Yesterday, of course, was a tough day for a lot of people to start with the fog. Now we've got visibility reports down to a mile and a quarter in Bemidji, but most of us looking pretty good. That's the place where the temperatures dropped enough. We're getting close to that dew point, and that's allowing some of that water vapor to condense into some fog. And checking out your radar and satellite map. Some mostly cloudy skies down to the southeast, and that is on the leading edge of some showers and thunder showers that are approaching the valley. We'll zoom out here to show you a little bit more. You can see that line here working its way toward Brown County, toward the Aberdeen area this morning, and that will just continue lifting northeastward. The big question is, is how much of this will hold together as it makes its way north northward and right now at least it looks like northeastern South Dakota has a good shot at seeing some of these storms affect you and that of course will continue nor moving northward throughout the morning. So here's a look at your hour by hour planner. We've paused the uh, clock here at 7 a.m. So a couple of hours from now we're looking at those showers into the south. Notice how there's still some rain. There's maybe even a thunder a rumble or two but for the most part these aren't looking really impressive on our, our future uh, uh, radar here. Now looking ahead toward the noon hour, another little line tries to get going. Temperatures warming well into the 70s at that point. We've also got that wind picking up out of the southeast, gusting to 20 miles per hour in Fargo. And we just continue to watch that line move northward today. So by 5 o'clock, some broken, uh, scattered thunder showers along that line here uh, for the afternoon and evening. Temperatures pointing out that we're in the 80s here throughout the valley, some of us into the mid 80s for your highs. And again, that southeast wind feeding in that moisture for this, that warmer air too for the valley. Heading into the evening, we'll still see that chance for a few of these showers and thunder showers to continue, and one or two of them may become severe. We're looking at hail being a problem and damaging wind gusts too with some of these storms that get strong enough to produce that. Now heading into late, we'll still be seeing some of those showers and thunder showers up in the northern valley. So bottom line, a chance for some scattered rain and thunder today. It might not be an all day, it doesn't look like an all day event, but a couple of us could see a couple of rounds of that. Now heading into tomorrow morning, we're starting off the day with temperatures into the 60s, so another warm start. That wind coming in straight out of the south and gusting into the upper 20s, so looking even more uh, windy for the day. We'll end up seeing some temperatures hitting the 80s by the noon hour where we've paused the clock and heading into the afternoon and evening, very warm hot in fact the so mid to upper 80s to around 90 degrees so thursday is going to be a really toasty one uh, for the day and i wouldn't be surprised if we had a 90 degree reading somewhere in the valley especially in the south and that will bring about that heat so a chance for some rain and some thunder perhaps into thursday evening so here's a look at your seven day planner a couple of rounds of showers and thunder showers today and tomorrow we're looking at temperatures really soaring for the second half of the week and into the holiday weekend we are going to see that chance at 90 degrees again on Saturday. For Sunday, more showers and thunder showers probably in the evening. So most of the day Sunday right now looks pretty good. And heading into Memorial Day, those showers lingering into the morning hours. But hot again on Memorial Day and we just continue this stretch to start next week. So you know, we're end of May now and things are looking like and feeling like July, I would say, in a good portion of the valley. And we talked about this yesterday, but everyone's talking about how nice Memorial Day weekend is going to be. It's usually right. Not this. Yeah, the nice. Memorial days I remember are typically gray and cool yes. and just, you know, not the best day for going to the lake. And this is great weather for that. What a treat. Thank you, Lisa. One farm is raising quality fiber producing animals. We'll have more on that location next.